Now it's time for the halfway points of the Micromax heats here at the Grand Festival for 2023. Here's your starting grid for Micromax Heat 2, Groups A and C. On pole position will be Ryan Rivers in the number three. He'll be joined by Dominic Rosa on the front row. Jack Freeman and Marcandia Casada from the UK and France will line up on row two. Jensen Chalk and Ilari Harmonen will be on row three. Max Moore and Benediktas Masiokas row four. Completing the top ten, it's Andreas Jellerup and Austin Oman from Denmark and the UK. Theo Steindahl and Mikhail Kumas ran out row six ahead of Julian Dumas and Marius Reinhold with uh, Jokobas Vaskelis, Maximilian Kiel, Jonathan Otterson, Nikola, uh, Nicholas Zelensky with Daniel Ferguson, Tristan Aviles and Leon Herbols rounding out the top for the 21 strong. So the field makes its way onto their formation lap. So another seven minutes plus an additional lap of racing set to get underway very, very shortly as the field makes its way halfway around the circuit, down the Yudapalan into turn seven at the chicane. And we'll be down to Ryan Rivers and Dominic Rosa that will need to lead the field into the rolling start formation. Drivers make their way out of the final corner. Revs rise, noise increases, lights are out first time. We are underway and a good start by Ryan Rivers. Rosa looking towards the outside as they hurtle their way into turns one and two. Jack Freeman trying to hold on to P3 as Rosa has got the lead, but Rivers back up the inside, retakes the lead through turn number four. Freeman, Freeman latches on to the back of the two in front as there is a move for fourth, possibly Jensen Chalk looking up the inside in the number 64. He's currently sitting in fifth place round the outside. Was that Quesada on Freeman into turn seven? I think that might have been the case. Or was that Ilari Harmonen on that CRG chassis again, showcasing what we saw in the opening heat a little bit earlier on today? Jensen Chalk looks up the inside, takes fourth position off of Jack Freeman. As at the moment, it is the 24 of Dominic Rosa that leads the way ahead of Ryan Rivers. Then it is the number 66 of Ilari Harmonen from Finland who started P6, now is third. Spanning out to three wide, heading down the start, finish straight towards the back part of the top ten. Five cart train leads the way with Rosa ahead of Rivers, Harmonen, Chalk, Freeman, and they were covered by just over eight tenths of a second. Harmonen goes for a lunge up the inside through on Ryan Rivers. Jensen Chalk gets through. Rivers now starting to squeeze Jack Freeman, who keeps a very, very brave head through into turn seven and overtakes the Dutchman into turn seven off of the Europalan. Absolutely brilliant prowess by some of these young drivers. However, Ryan Rivers. Manages to get back through on the number 93. Who now has the number two of Quesada right behind. And Quesada is now through. And now the floodgates have opened. Max Moore in there. Andreas Yellerup in there. It is a fight for everybody to try and get through. 
as Ilari Harman and up the inside of Jensen Chalk for second position and takes the place of, of the Briton who has to relinquish that second place for the moment. Jensen Chalk has been out, for, out here for a little bit of time, competed in the Rotax Belgian Max Challenge last weekend as a mini Max rookie and managed to win the final as a rookie and now slots back into a a class that he knows very, very well. And he's up the inside. That's a great move there from Jensen Chalk on Ilari Harmonen for P2 through out of turn number eight. So four minutes plus an additional lap still to go in this penultimate Micromax heat of the 2023 Rotax Max Challenge Grand Festival. Now Austin Amman looking for a move up the inside of Andreas Jellerup from Denmark. And they are not going to, be, well, Yellerup trying to do his absolute best to put on the defence in front of Oman. But you've got Freeman, you've got Quesada. A little bit further back, you've got Theo Steindahl and Julian Duma rounding out the top ten. But Rosa is doing an absolutely brilliant job. The youngster from Hungary is doing a number on the rest of the opposition. Some battling up and down the order a little bit further back between the quartet and behind the quartet that have just gone through turn number seven with Austin Amman second in that train behind Andreas Yellerup but could lose out to Jack Freeman if the number 16 is not careful. Freeman pulls to the left. Where's Cassandra going to go? Up the inside of Jack Freeman. Cassandra goes through on Freeman and takes the position. And then Freeman straight back through turn 11. Returns the favour. Two minutes and 45 seconds still to go. Jensen Chalk is now leading. Whilst all that battling was happening, Jensen Chalk did the best thing possible. Got a mammoth one-second buffer between himself and Dominic Rosa. Rosa did a one-minute 3.153. Jensen Chalk has just gone purple around every one of the three sectors and set the fastest lap of the race. So one minute, 2.175. And now has a half second advantage. Ilari Harmonen is waiting to strike whilst the iron is hot. Two minutes and 10 seconds still to go. And I don't think Rosa's out of the woods quite yet. But still... Anything can happen. The unpredictability of motorsport can rear its ugly head at any unwanted moment. But sometimes you've also got to have a little bit of luck on your side, along with the skill set that you bring to the racetrack. Harman and closing in to within two tenths of a second for second place. Jack Freeman now gets past Andreas Yellerup for fifth, coming across the start finish line. Quesada. Then we've also got Steindahl and Jokubas Vaskelis from Lithuania in the number 17 rounding out the top 10. Time is fast ticking away. The sunshine again is beaming down onto the circuit with, no, with blue skies surrounding it. So a lot of the cloud cover that we saw a few moments ago has dissipated into the distance. Jensen Chalk still holding on to that race lead and has... A six-tenth of a second advantage. Now, whilst Harmonen is trying to get past Rosna, Rosa, that's going to be a tall order. Ryan Rivers in the, is in no man's land at the moment. He's 1.2 seconds behind Harmonen and 1.7 seconds up the road from Jack Freeman. However, the battle between the likes of uh, Andreas Yellerup, Austin Amman is still going on. There is fever pitch between the two of them in terms of battle lines being drawn. As the drivers again surge their way down the start finish straight here at the home of champions. Harmonen has yet to have an answer. And great to see some support for Marc-Andre Quesada from Vanina Gorgurio on YouTube. Thank you so much to everyone that's uh, been putting their comments into the stream and over 310 of you watching we even had concurrent, uh, live viewers of nearly 350 at one point. As we now see Casada trying to close in on Austin Oman. Now this is for a position. Will Casada look for the inside move at turn 10? Thinks better of it. Waits for the next opportunity. But the time has expired. 
Last lap board is out. Jensen Chalk is going to be the first one to see it. Second, it is the 24 of Rosa. Harmonen in the 66 rounds out the top three. Fourth, it's Rivers. Fifth, it's Freeman. And this battle here, Yerup, Oman, uh, Quesada, Steindahl. And Steindahl gets through on Quesada at turn two and into three. Nice work by the youngster from Norway. But Jensen Chalk has a nine-tenth of a second advantage over Dominic Rosa, who did win the first heat of the day. And side by side, oh dearie me, that was close between Quesada, who got through on Steindahl at turn seven through the chicane. They were literally millimetres apart in terms of where the sidewalls were positioned, but they still both got through it. However, Dominic Rosa picked up the win in the first heat. Heat two, it goes to the way of the United Kingdoms. Jensen Chalk in the number 64, who wins by 1.1 seconds. Dominic Rosa takes second. Ilari Harmonen from six on the grid to finish P3 with Ryan Driver as fourth. Jack Freeman fifth. And what's more, folks, Jack Freeman on the last lap of the race set the fastest lap of anybody. One minute, 1.864. Andreas Jellerup, Austin Oman, Marc-Andrea Quesada, Theo Steindahl and Lithuania's Jokubas Vaskelis rounds out the top ten. Jonathan Otterson, Jan Daniel Ferguson, Max Moore, Marius Reinhold, Maximilian Kiel, Leon Herbols, Julian Duma, Benediktas Masiokas, Mikhail Kumas, Nicolas Zelensky and uh, Tristan Abils round out the 21 drivers that all made it to the chequered flag after eight laps of racing. But it's Rosa one. Jensen Chalk won. Who's going to pick up the win in Heat 3 later on today? Well, the action has been plentiful here at the Home of Champions all the way through heat stay for the Golden Trophy and the Grand Festival. And for this second Micromax heat, the action was plentiful and there was uh, it was great racing. Great to see so many drivers doing so well here at this young tender age. As the lights went out, we went racing. Did notice just then that uh, Masiokas might have uh, incurred, possibly incur a penalty for breaking formation before the red lights went out. But it was a case of Ryan Rivers led the way. Dominic Rosa managed to get through and take the race lead early. Hilary Harmonen was definitely one to watch along with. Witten under edges. Jensen Chalk in the 64. Also along with that, Jack Freeman definitely thought, well, you know what? If everyone else is going to be starting squabbling, I'm going to try and see what I can do. And he did really show a few brave... Well, he got some bravery points there, did Jack Freeman, when Felipe... De, uh, when, uh, Ryan Rivers tried to squeeze him a little bit onto the uh, Europlan, but then things started to emerge in the fact that Dominic Rosa would not be completely infallible because Jensen Chalk, first of all, managed to get through on Ilari Harmonen by completely committing with full beans up the inside of turn eight on the finished driver on the CRG chassis, and then would start hunting down the race leader. Then you'd have the likes of Jack Freeman, um, Alcantaria Quesada battling away a little bit further behind with Austin Oman just in front. And Quesada nearly having, well, had the front axle up in the air with a slight touch with the right rear wheel of the number 16. But another winner, and it's Jensen Chalk from the UK, calmly winning by just over 1.1 seconds.